Next up, we have a friend of mine who I've known for almost 20 years. Christina Smolke first came to Brown University, where I was a grad student, to teach an Introduction to Synthetic Biology course to our iGEM team. And I was blown away by the work that she was doing and the clarity that she presented bioengineering and what is synthetic biology. After that, she went on to become a professor at Stanford. And in 2016, she started Anthea, which is an amazing story about ending drug shortages using synthetic biology. Please give a big round of applause for Christina Smolke. Hello, I'm Christina Smolke, and I'm one of the co-founders and also the CEO of Anthea. At Anthea, we're leveraging synthetic biology to be able to produce pharmaceutical ingredients for essential medicines. So I'd like to start with introducing to you the problem that we're solving. And this is that our pharmaceutical supply chains simply cannot meet the demands of our 21st century healthcare systems. Drug shortages are a growing public health preparedness and health equity problem, and it is not getting better. There have been numerous reports over the past several years from across different government entities, nonprofit organizations, and even the cover article in last week's New York Times, all which underscore the problems with our current manufacturing models for critical pharmaceutical production. From 2021 to 2022, drug shortages increased in frequency by 30%. The average duration of our drug shortages has increased to about one and a half years, but there are many drugs that have been in shortage for over a decade. This is a problem that has real consequences for public health and patient care. During COVID, when the demand for certain drugs skyrocketed, there were many patients who were unable to access critical life-saving medicines. This is the problem that Anthea is solving, and this is why we exist. And Theo was founded on the sort of underlying fundamental belief that everybody deserves access to critical life-saving medicines. To achieve this, our pharmaceutical supply chains need to evolve so that patient care and health equity are not linked to global supply chain challenges. We are all here because we fundamentally believe that synthetic biology can transform the trajectory of major challenges we face as a society. And this is the problem that we believe synthetic biology will be critical to solve. Nature has provided the foundation for modern medicine, but it was not designed to meet the scale and demands of today's healthcare systems. Our conventional manufacturing approaches limit what pharmaceutical products can be made, as well as where, when, how, and at what scale. And as a result, drug innovation has suffered. But more importantly, our essential medicines are tied to inefficient and vulnerable supply chains, resulting in ongoing drug shortages. Our mission is to be able to transform pharmaceutical supply chains to be more efficient, more cost-effective, transparent and agile and resilient, so that drug shortages become a thing of the past. I'd like to just give you an overview of the current API manufacturing landscape. Ultimately, our drugs are made through one of two different ways. The first is agricultural-based sourcing. About 40% of our medicines are sourced directly from nature. That means that many of our essential medicines are reliant on inefficient and fragile supply chains that are vulnerable to changes in climate patterns, pest and disease, variables in farming practices, and geopolitical and sociopolitical events. The rest of our drugs are produced through chemical processing. And while chemical processing has introduced remarkable efficiencies in the production of certain drugs, many drugs cannot be made via chemical processing because they are too complex to be produced through these processes at scale. And ultimately what that means, again, is that many of our drugs are reliant on increasingly vulnerable and inefficient supply chains. Synthetic biology can address 
the pain points associated with our legacy manufacturing models. At Enthea, we use synthetic biology to modernize the pharma industry and ultimately to be able to leverage fermentation-based technology to fundamentally transform how we produce active pharmaceutical ingredients and their key starting materials. As a technology, biomanufacturing can be used to produce over half of the products and ingredients that are on the US FDA essential medicine list. And while fermentation is not new to the pharma industry, synthetic biology can dramatically expand the number and diversity of drugs that can be produced via this technology. At Enthea, we have built a platform for API manufacturing, and this platform offers significant benefits over our legacy manufacturing models. In particular, it accelerates production timelines from current models which can take several years to one that can take several weeks. It enables on-demand and agile manufacturing so that we can reduce drugs when and where they are most needed. It reduces the cost and environmental impact of manufacturing. It also improves the efficiency and consistency. And finally, it can increase control and bring much needed transparency to these critical supply chains. I think all of us in this room inherently understand this, but it bears repeating. This technology is limitless, and we can apply it to solve the pharmaceutical supply chain challenges that we currently face. And at Enthea, we are taking this platform and scaling it for our customers. Based upon the science and technology we have developed at Enthea, we have built out a very broad pipeline of pharmaceutical ingredients that we are, able, that we are working to produce with this technology. Overall, we have a pipeline of over 70 different key starting materials and active pharmaceutical ingredients that are at different stages of development. And these products span broad therapeutic areas, over seven different therapeutic areas. We've prioritized our pipeline to align quite closely to essential medicine lists of major institutions and organizations, including the US FDA and the World Health Organization. And many of the products in our pipeline are those that you see consistently on drug shortage lists, as well as those that have been put on down selected lists for the medicines most critical for acute care. Ultimately then, when you look at our pipeline, we are able to improve the efficiency of production of critical medicines that are currently urgently needed and in shortage. I am proud to share that our products and our technology are now ready to scale. We have taken a two-pronged approach to manufacturing scale-up. Currently, we are working to scale our processes with a European CMO partner. Our first products, have demonstrated repeatable scale-up and repeatable performance at the 1,000 liter pilot manufacturing scale. And the product that has been produced through these pilot runs has been quality validated in the hands of our customers. Over the next, this year, we'll be working to validate this manufacturing process to full manufacturing scale and begin commercial scale production such that we can bring our material into the hands of our customers for qualification by the end of 2023. We'll take our second product will go through manufacturing scale up and commercialization in 2024. And overall, we have an additional four products that will be brought to market by 2026. Simultaneously, in our second prong of our approach, we are pursuing and finalizing our US manufacturing strategy. Ultimately, we believe that it is critical to be able to leverage this technology to onshore pro uh, domestic production of APIs for critical medicines in the US, ultimately allowing us to bring that much needed resiliency and capacity domestically, as well as using this to build resiliency and expand our bioeconomy and biomanufacturing industry within the US. Synthetic biology is the future of pharma manufacturing. Our current supply chains are simply unable to meet the demands of today's healthcare systems. We are proud to be working as a leader to transform our critical manufacturing models and to be able to work with our pharma partners to allow them to take control of their critical supply chains. 
And ultimately, we are dedicated to our mission of being able to leverage this technology to ensure equitable access to essential medicines and to end drug shortages. I'd like to thank you for your time today. If you would like to speak with anyone on Anthea's team, we are here for the duration of the conference. Uh, please reach out uh, to anyone on the team. We have a booth right outside in the hall. Um, as well, you can reach us through the email ad, through our email. Thank you very much. Thank you.